Today, we are going to talk about four systems. First off, we have the respiratory system. The respiratory system starts when you breathe in air. There, the nose is lined with cilia, mucous membrane, and blood <coughs> capillary. Air is then filtered by cilia, moistened by mucous membrane, and worn by the blood capillaries. Air then passes through the larynx, larynx, trachea, right up. Does anyone know how to say that? Uh, bronchi? Exactly. Thank you. You're welcome. And alveoli. Alveola. This is where gas exchange takes place. The air are con the air, the lungs. Isn't the lungs? What? The lungs. Yes, it's the lungs. The lungs are constantly expanding and contracting like this. When you breathe in and breathe out. Okay, let's do, when you breathe, the lungs are being pulled down and up <coughs> by the diaphragm, which is located right here. Avioli, and what's that word again? Bronchi. Bronchi. If you look back at the lungs, you'll see a bronchi tree. Its branches are called bronchi, which carries air down small branches called bron br br bronchos. 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 Thank you. Which carries air down smaller branches. No, I already did that. Now you're on the part where the at the bottom are the alveoli sacs. Now the heart has four main chambers: the right artery, the right vertic vertical, the left artery, and the left. Exactly the same. One side pumps oxygen-rich blood to the blood, then the other side pumps blood to the lungs. The main purpose is bringing air to your body. Now, we will move on to Tessa. The circulatory starts with the heart, and as you must have heard before, it has four chambers. One side pumps blood throughout, throughout the body, and also pumps material throughout the body. The, Red blood cells go all around the body delivering oxygen. And then it goes back to the heart where to get more oxygen. It goes through that cycle throughout your whole life. White blood cells are delivered throughout your body to go wherever there are germs. When the white blood cells reach the germs, they fight them off. Platelets go to wherever you get a cut. Red blood cells then rush over to make sure you don't get an infection. Platelets then hurry up after the red blood cells to stop to, from getting more blood loss. It then creates the scab. Hormones are very important because they tell you when your, bo tell your body when to sleep, eat, go to the bathroom, and more. Finally, waste is delivered to the kidneys, which makes which makes urine. But that is a different system. The circulatory's main purpose is to deliver material materials to the body. I almost forgot. We don't have this on here, but red blood cells go to the small intestine and get nutrients and takes it all over your body too.
Today, we will be talking about one of the main and most important systems in our body. It's called the digestive system. The digestive system starts when you eat food through your mouth. Food goes through your esophagus and down to the stomach. The stomach has a strong acid that breaks the food down. When the food is broken apart, the smushed up food goes to the small intestines, which where then goes to the large intestines. The mushed up food goes until it reaches the rectum. From that point, the food is now called poop, or whatever you would like to call it. And the, digest and the digestive system starts all over again. The main purpose is to take all the waste out of your body. Don't forget about how big the small intestine is. Oh yes, the small intestines might be called the small intestines, but they're actually 25 feet 